Hi, um, I'm Conrad Talmud Kaminski from the University of Finance and Management in Warsaw. Now, I think the science and religion dialogue is a particularly difficult one because of a particularity of human belief systems, sorry, religious belief systems rather, human belief systems in particular, religious belief systems in this case. The thing being that the function of religious beliefs is unusual in that it is not tied to their truth value, which means that it doesn't make sense to select religious beliefs on the basis of their truth. Which in turn means that they, these belief systems have to be protected in some fashion against potential counter evidence. Now the thing is that if you're having a dialogue, that's one of the ways in which potential counter evidence can come to face to face with your beliefs. Now, you can see an example of what I mean by, for example, by the way in which religious belief systems often deem a whole section of religion to be sacred, or as how Durkheim would put it, beyond the reach of normal everyday activity. Now, if you put something beyond the reach of normal everyday activity, it is easier to protect it against counter evidence. Take an example of the sacred. The uh, Shroud of Turin was so sacred that it couldn't be investigated. You couldn't take samples from it until it wasn't. And the samples were uh, dated using carbon dating te uh, technology. And they were found to be medieval. Right. So this makes it very difficult to talk about, to have a dialogue about religion and science. Now what can philosophers bring to this? Well, I don't think philosophers have any particular insights into the debate, uh, but they do have skills, particular sets of skills that I think are quite useful. The obvious one is the analytical skills they have the ability to analyze people's arguments and to evaluate them and to produce rational ones themselves. But perhaps even more fundamental is that philosophers are, or at least should be, taught the very first step of being able to evaluate someone's argument is to get a really deep understanding of their position. Because it's very easy to start criticizing when you have just a shallow understanding of what's going on. If you have a deep understanding, you're much more likely, I think, to approach the debate, sorry, as the mistake, not the debate, the dialogue, and that's a very, very important point, in a much more constructive fashion. Because, you know, the, the dialogue is not one that science or religion can win. It's not about winning. It's about finding ways to reconcile these different commitments. And I hope philosophy can help with that.